Hello everyone, this is Tara with Tara's Traveling Paints. I decided maybe I have no idea what I look like, so hopefully I'm not too crazy looking. Um, I just did an interesting painting. I like it. I hope it dries really cool. But now I'm going to do some fluid art, okay? So this is Tara. I hope that you are having a great day. And if you're new to the channel, I'm excited to have you here. Life is good and uh, it's about to get a little better because we're all paint. Now I'm working with still floor tiles. Um, I'm almost done with them. I'm going to cry. But um, 12 by 12 floor tile and they're fun to work with and they're sturdy, beautiful pieces. I mean, and once you put epoxy on them, it's like, what? I mean, what? So I've got a lot of really great ideas that um, I want to do with tiles. So I'm excited. Um, in the meantime, though, we're going to get into some painting. I don't know. I haven't. don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. I think I want to do a ring pour. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to stack up some colors. I'm working with pink, uh, like a teal, a green, a blue. I even have a brown. I've got um, some of this stuff. I can't remember. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. What is it? Color shift. <clears throat> I've got some silver, metallic. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and get into it. I hope you are having a great day. That's all I know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm hanging in there, guys. I'm hanging in there. So let me put on some gloves so I can get into this. I've got some spaghetti on the stove for my late breakfast, lunch, whatever. And I'm excited. Well, it's fettuccine, but you know. Made it last night for dinner and never got to eat it. So I'm hungry. I am hungry. Let me just try to get this glove on. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can get the glove on. Yeah, maybe I won't use gloves. Maybe I'll just get myself nice and painted up. I don't want to play with this. I'm not in the mood for that. All right, let me go ahead and lean you down and let's get into this. So I checked my consistency. I feel like they're all in the same boat. So that's good news. Let me grab me a cup that I can bendy. And start stacking some colors. Let's see. It's like a teal or a light green. I'm not sure. Let me put a blue next to it. Green. Kind of worried about using brown, but I, I want to use it. So put that in between. It's got uh, peach, brown, and Aztec gold in that color. Just so you know. And I think the white I shall use as my puddle. Maybe some hot pink or fluorescent pink. Put a little color shift. This is vibrant red. It's not really red, it's very pink, but it'll give me some interesting definition. Put a little silver in there. Why not? Not too much. Let me go back to it. I'm gonna use it all up, guys. Really, I don't want anything left over if I can help it. It's time to freshen it up. Gone. And I like the blue next to it. And green. I wonder if I like this painting. I don't know. It's all mixed with Floetrol. 
three to one ratio, one being the paint, three being the flow troll. There's probably a little bit of water in it, but not enough to really talk about, to tell you the truth. Just because of the last painting I used water on my brushes and dipped it into it, so. We'll see how that goes. The, the uh, at least the, um, what do you call it? Oh, what's that called? I have a reel or a short on YouTube of the last painting I did. Let's get some more hot pink in there. Yeah, let's get rid of it all. Let's see. All right. A little bit more color shift. That's a lot of paint for this little canvas, so let's see what happens. We will see. All right. Cup is made. Now let's get the white down. Pretty thick consistency today to me, but I usually do that. You know, I'm, if you've ever been on my channel before, you know, I usually work with thicker paints. Why? I don't know. I'm not a fan of Dutch pouring, so I don't need to have super thin paints. I just don't really like the way it looks at all. Like, I, I don't even know, you know, but, but I do have some pretty Dutch pours. I just prefer not to. I just prefer not to. Let me hit that with some, uh, some thigh. Let's see how I roll with this. It's a lot of paint, so let's see. Let's start on the outside. Hi, squirrel. <laughs> Mama squirrel just came to say hi. She's like, I'm hungry. I got to feed the babies. Well, then get some food. I'm not going to hurt you. All right. It's already really cool. <laughs> it's already really cool. <sighs> Do a little tilting. I think I need to spin her. Huh. This color combination is just wicked. I don't know what I was thinking. It's pretty. I like that white in the middle. I do indeed. <clears throat> so I have one of those suet bird feeders outside of the window here and the squirrels climb up and grab some and then they bring me presents and I hope that I get some new presents soon because I haven't had a present in a while. They bring me old walnuts and peanuts that they've hoarded that they don't want anymore. Kind of as a thank you, it's kind of cute. Come on over the side here. Come on. You could do it. There she goes. Beautiful. Uh, that's really pretty. Uh, I really like it. Um, Um, 
That's really pretty. <laughs> that silver really, oh, it's nice. Even the brown is beautiful. Um, I don't feel I really want to do much more to it. Let me hit some fire on it. Isn't that weird? Sometimes you, you got to keep playing and keep playing, and then sometimes you just pour it and it does it. And I think this is going to be gorgeous when it's dry. That's neat. I think I need to spin a little more. Just a little more. It's really pretty. I'm going to stop. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I'm going to let this develop as it goes. And uh, I'm kind of excited about this painting. It's pretty cool. And yes, I know I'm not level. That's why it's spinning still. <laughs> I know. I'm aware. Let's get in for a closer look. 